Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to use cocktail animation using bones inside of Godot. Um, what that means is that if you move one joint around, the bones will act realistically. You can see that they won't detach. And this is really handy that if you want to have a, have that special cutout look, and by cutout I mean that you know each body part's cut out and then you can um, manipulate it separately, and then the, all the other ones will uh, match up to make sure that it it's always touching. Uh, this make, makes animation for someone like myself who's not an artist at all much easier. For example, let me just show you what I've made here. So if I press play, you can see we've got like um, just a little looking animation, but if I go to the run animation, it's far from good, but I couldn't draw this. Like this is way further than that. If I was to do like a sprite sheet, I just wouldn't be able to do it. It's not in my skill set. But I can make a little simple run animation, which I think looks alright. It, it does what you want it to do. So let's get into it. Let's move this out of the way. So what we need to do is have our main scene. We have a, a no, no, another no 2D on there called top. We're going to save this. Save it as a branch. Save. Go to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in from top to, top to bottom. So we want to put in the top leg. Yeah, and it's really important that you press V where the joint attaches to the so this top leg would attach to the torso, so you want it to attach here, that's where the leg would attach to the torso. This is the knee and we know that the bottom leg attaches to the knee. And then I'll press V here. And with the foot is the ankle here, so Let's put that here. And if you want, you would, you could put the the legs behind. You can mess around with the Z uh, axis all you want to give the depth. But I'm just going to leave it as is right now. So what's really important is that we select each piece, and then I think that we have to go to this IK bone, make IK chain, uh, make inverse kinetic chain. Click that. And then what we're going to do is make custom bones from nodes. And there you go. And it's as simple as that, which is quite easy. Now, what we could do is instead of having to do that again for the, the other foot, we could just press, uh, make sure these are highlighted, press Control, Delete, uh, Control D, and move across. And it's already done this leg for us, which is quite handy. What I like to do though is which one goes in front. So it looks like this one is behind. So what I would do is go to materials, oops, visibility, even model eight. Let's make it a bit darker. Just to symbolize it is behind the leg. So let's so how would you do an animation? So we want to go to our top, which is sort of like its body it's attached to. We're gonna make an animation player. I'm gonna make a new animation and I'll call this idle. And what we're gonna do is just put put our thing put it like this. Yeah, that'll do. Make sure it's on one. Now what we're gonna do is make sure that up here is auto keys is selected so let me, and then what I also want to do is highlight these I want to click this button and it says create new tracks create and that way we've got all our um, each bone has its position and rotation data in here and you'll notice that say if we were go here and I was to move this let go it makes and then go like this let go it's putting in the keyframes automatically, so now if I go back, you can see. So let's make this a bit bigger. Let's make a six, which is far too big. Um, we don't want this. Let's put it back to. If you press Control and then mouse so uh, mouse down, you can do this. And if you let go of your Control while holding your mouse down, you get more fine tuning. Same again. So let's see what this looks like. 
So yeah, I'm going to make just a very simple one because I don't want to be here too long. Uh, I don't think I can make something as good as the, the one animation in this time frame. So I'm just move this like this, put the control. Try and do. Oops. Tell them I have a one. Okay. So I'm going to just start over again. Let's pull this down here. Oh, this is really difficult. And then I just want something just really simple where you just move a little bit, you move a little bit, and then you move back a bit. Move back a bit. Just something simple like this. And we'll loop it and we'll say three. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's just rough this demonstration. And then what you would do is if you want a new one. In fact, let's make sure this is saved. So we'll save as. Animation that I'll save this animation idle to. And if you were to load um, loading one, you just say load, and I've got a one animation already set up. I don't know if it will work with this, so yeah, it will. And how I made this is I went online and I looked up uh, run cycles and I just got the keyframes. So, let's see. just a run cycle like this, and I I look at this keyframe, this one, and this one, and then as long as you get these sort of like on your time, see if that's at one second, that's at two seconds, that's three seconds, half a second between them sort of like interplays perfectly normally, and then if it doesn't, you can kind of fine switch it, and that's how I got this effect. Once again, I could not draw on this. So that's pretty much how you do bones in Godot. Now, something I really want to do, but I'm, it's not ready at the moment. I'm just showing you just to show you can do it. You'll notice if we actually if we, if we run this, if you go back, save in code, you say, right, I want to change to idle. It snaps, which is horrible. It, it, that looks hideous. Um, one way of doing it is using an animation tree to do blend, blending. So you you'd come to a stop slowly, like um, I'll, just, I'll see if I, I can get it working really quickly. Animation now put on and then this. So you can see it's idle right now, and then as you see it's running, and then I can press spacebar to make it idle again. I think that looks pretty cool. I mean, I've got it slow, this, this is just to demonstrate it, but if it was going quicker, if I see if I can do that, let's say, let's say three. This might be a bit too quick, I'm not sure. Oh, no, that's too slow. Even. Okay, well, you <laughs> get the idea. So what I'm going to do is try and learn that and get it to a point of where I feel comfortable I could teach it, and then hopefully that'll be it for the next lesson. Uh, thanks for stopping by, take care.